Glen Rose, Texas. Glen Rose is a city in and the county seat of Somerville County, Texas, United States. As of the 2012 census estimate, the city population was 2502. History. 19th century. The area was first settled in 1849 by Charles Barnard, who opened a trading post near Comanche Peak. After the region became a federal Indian reservation in 1855, circa 1859 when the reservation was abolished, he returned to the area and built the first store on what is now the site of Glen Rose. A three-story stone gristmill was constructed along the Paluxy River, and the town that grew up around it became known as Barnard's Mill. The mill was sold to T.C. Jordan of Dallas in 1871 for $65,000. Jordan's wife, a native of Scotland, decided to rename the town Rose Glen to reflect the area's natural surroundings. The citizens later voted to call the community Glen Rose. A post office opened in 1874. When Somerville County was formed on March 15, 1875, Glen Rose was designated as its county seat. A Baptist college was organized in 1879 and was later sold to the Paluxy Baptist Association. In 1889, the Northern Presbyterians opened Glen Rose Collegiate Institute, also known as Glen Rose College, which remained in operation for the next 15 to 20 years. A courthouse around Glen Rose's town square was completed around 1892, but burned down a year later. A newly built Romanesque Revival-style courthouse was constructed soon after with locally quarried limestone. That building sustained damage in a 1902 tornado that also damaged part of the town square. 20th century. Throughout the period from the 1900s to the 1920s, Glen Rose was home to approximately 1,000 people. The area's mineral springs attracted numerous doctors and self-styled healers to the community. During Prohibition, the area was a center of moonshining and Glen Rose became known as the Whiskey Woods capital of the state. The population remained steady during the Great Depression, although unemployment rates in both Glen Rose and Somerville County increased. As part of the New Deal, Glen Rose borrowed $80,000 under the Public Works Administration PWA to construct a new water and sewage system. Three low-water dams on the Paluxy River, several local school buildings, and a canning plant were built with Works Projects Administration WPA money. During the post-war years, the population of Somerville County declined from 3,071 in 1940 to 2542 in 1950 as many residents moved in search of greater employment opportunities. At the same time, Glen Rose grew from 1050 residents in 1940 to 1248 in 1950. The construction of the Comanche Peak nuclear power plant in the mid-1970s brought financial advantages and new residents to the Glen Rose area. The city experienced a 34% increase in population between 1970 and 1980. The nuclear plant came to dominate the local economy. Other chief industries include farming, ranching, and tourism. 111 rated businesses were located in Glen Rose as of 1991. By 2000, the population of the city had grown to 2122, and the total number of rated businesses rose to 224. Geography Glen Rose is located at 32 deck 14 12 and 97 deck 45 14 W 32. 236,637, 97, 753,823, around the junction of U.S. Highway 67 and State Highway 144 in central Somerville County. The city is situated nearly 17 miles 27 km south of Granbury and 52 miles 84 km southwest of Fort Worth.
According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 2. 7 square miles 7. 1 km2 all land. Climate. The climate in this area is characterized by hot, humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the Koppen Climate Classification System, Glen Rose has a humid subtropical climate, abbreviated CFA on climate maps. Demographics. As of the census of 2000, there were 2122 people, 801 households, and 543 families residing in the city. The population density was 777. Six people per square mile, 300. One slash km2. There were 903 housing units at an average density of 330. Nine per square mile, 127. Seven slash km2. The racial makeup of the city was 91. 9% 9 white, 0. 28% African American, 0. 94% Native American, 0. 38% Asian, 5. 51% from other races, and 1. 79% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 15. 32% of the population. There were 801 households, out of which 36. 1% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 48. 7% were married couples living together, 14. 4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32. 1% were non-families, 29. 1% of all households were made up of individuals and 14. 9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 54 and the average family size was 3. 13. In the city, the population was spread out with 28. 4% under the age of 18. 8. 1% from 18 to 24, 26. 5% from 25 to 44, 19. 6% from 45 to 64, and 17. 4% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 88. 6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 82. Zero males. The median income for a household in the city was $29,837, and the median income for a family was $37,545. Males had a median income of $30,238 versus $19,000. $500 for females. The per capita income for the city was $14,940. About 12. 2% of families and 14. 7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 17. 2% of those under age 18 and 16. 2% of those age 65 or over. Glen Rose is part of the Dallas-Fort Worth-Arlington TX Metropolitan Statistical Area. Arts and Culture. Creation Evidence Museum. Displaying purported evidence for creationism. Education. Glen Rose is served by the Glen Rose Independent School District. Media. Two newspapers have offices located in Glen Rose the Glen Rose Reporter, and the Glen Rose Newspaper. Local television stations that provide coverage for the area are from the Dallas-Fort Worth and the Waco-Temple-Killeen Central Texas metropolitan areas. Glen Rose is also served by Tarleton State University's National Public Radio affiliate KTRL 90. 5 FM. The Somerville County Salon is a local blog that has historical audio and video of public meetings. Infrastructure. In February 2013, the citizens voted to create a hospital district. 
notable people. Sammy Hale, baseball player. Brooke Rollins, president of Texas Public Policy Foundation. Dan Campbell, former NFL player and former interim head coach of Miami Dolphins during the 2015 season for 12 games. Former assistant head coach slash T coach for the New Orleans Saints and current head coach of the Detroit Lions. John Graves, celebrated author of Goodbye to a River. Ivan Stang, founder of the Church of the Subgenius.